battle of AFL alumni. It's the Titans and the Patriots under the lights on Thursday night. Thank you to Trey Mosley for the introduction. We are indeed excited to welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, partner. A couple of teams that were seventh dwellers a year ago, but as we've seen being around the league for a while, man, that can change one season to the next. And how often do we see, Mike, a team that finished at the bottom of their division just a year later be the division champion? I'm not suggesting that it's easy or necessarily that these two teams are going to find themselves in that position. But the NFL is made up of a formula that's it. Pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set, and off we go here on EA Sports. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Tennessee offense taking the field for the first time. They'll be led out by the young man in his second season in the NFL. Really solid all-around performance last week, Mike, and I think the biggest factor that led to the win is his ability to continue to protect the football. He executed the offense, ran it exactly how they designed all week in practice. Now, it might not have been earth-shattering performance statistically, but they got the win. He can continue to play that style of ball. It's going to be a tough group to match up. This defense wanted to come out early in this game and take the fight to the offense. And boy, did they ever set the tone on the very first play, keeping that carry to no game. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Back to throw. Side, it's complete. That'll change things. Out of bounds inside the 35. It's a big one for Tennessee. 42 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Set to go now on first and 10. Now they'll set up to throw. A throw complete to Scott. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Now faking the give. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. They'll look to throw. Open man, left side. He's got it. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that be a bit of a letdown. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Got his receiver on the in-cut. He's got it. Here's a third down and four. He'll look to throw. That is caught to the goal line and in. Hajay Spears. Touchdown, Titans. It's his third touchdown of the year. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench. 
for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting the game offensively to be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Here comes a return from the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. And taking the snaps, quarterback now in his third year in the league. One thing that was pretty evident when we had a chance to talk to him, Mike, is this guy, he just wasn't satisfied with his individual performance. They came away with the win, and that was great. But one area that seems to continue to hold him back is that he's predetermining where he goes with the ball. Not only did it lead to the two interceptions, but it leads to some missed opportunities as the play unfolds. He could have had more touchdown output if he would have just gotten off that first read and found the open man. He got away with it last week. He doesn't want to make a habit of trying to get away with it every week. He needs to clean that up, especially if he wants to come away with a win here today. They'll try to get the running game going. His first carry. And he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage. Call it a yard at most. And if Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. Here's second and nine. Motioning him from the left side. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. This is teach tape. This is exactly how they teach defensive linemen to rush the quarterback. First order of business is obviously get a sack. Get to the quarterback, disrupt the pocket. If you can't get there, get big in the throwing lane. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. So that'll bring up fourth down, and here comes the veteran Bradley Pinion to punt it away. As he'll come on to punt this one away. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The Titans offense is going to take over now for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So, try to double up here. As they begin this drive first and 10. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. He'll try again here. Second and 10. He'll drop to throw. That's caught downfield by McBride. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. A gain there of 23 yards. That's good for a Titan first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time and I think so often those two things are different being open is one thing being open and getting the ball on time that's what leads to success and that's what we saw here second and seven a short one here caught by McBride and they'll take this down inside the 35 that's the second time they connect on this drive. This one, good for 13 yards. On first and 10, they'll set up to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Back to the air once more. On that is intercepted. Into space. Inside the 20. Well, it just tried a very short throw, and instead, the defense takes it back the other way, and they come up with a big play 
scoring the touchdown. Mike, for how fast he jumped that route, it almost seems like he was in the huddle and ran the route for the quarterback. <laughs> I mean, he was there before the receiver, and as you said, there was nothing left to do but take it all the way back the other way. Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. His kick is good, and the Pats will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. We're all tied, seven apiece, and the kick's away. This is fielded inside the five. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Titans offense ready to get back at it. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. That one's caught. It's Isaiah Davis. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Here's a handoff to Spears. Room up the sideline at the 45. They get 18 on that one. First down for Tennessee. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. Has a similar effect. They pick up a good game and a first down. Once again, it's Spears. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books here on a Thursday night. All even on the scoreboard. More after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Davis. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the pass. They have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no game. On play. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of midfield. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. The Pates offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and 10. Right away, they'll set up to throw. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he's got this up close to the 35-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. They'll send a tight end in motion. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Throwing left side. The catch is made. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Wow, how dangerous after the catch. That one goes for 27 yards in all. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early in that last pickup leads to a first down. Here's a second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. 
at the Titans 34 yard line. They'll stick with him again. Good running there. He's got the first down inside the 30. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up the first down. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Cedric Gray. And the Titans are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Back to throw here to begin the drop. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. Defense came out in a soft zone. I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Here's Blake Gillikin now. He'll be looking for something a little better than that first effort, which he shanked. This returnable from inside his own 40. And it's a good return here, able to take it across the 50, set up the offense with a short field. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. We'll have a short field ahead as they look to break our tie. It is first and 10. And he's going to be out of bounds, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Motioning him from the slot left. To the air now on first and ten. He'll check this down to the running back. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the pass area. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. In the red zone now, he'll drop to throw. Back in the end zone and intercepted. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The Titans offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll start out, first down and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll go left side here and complete this one. The Titans will use the first of their timeouts. They'll look to throw here on first down. That'll be caught by the running back, Davis. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Back to throw. And it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there, anyways. And we do know it'll be third down. Open man, right side. He's got it. Here's a timeout, Tennessee. 
It'll be their second. The clock will stop with 34 seconds to go until the break. His throw left side is complete. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. They'll look to throw again. Got a man here. Complete. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. One final throw before the break. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. All right, Mike, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Greg in just a moment. But first, let's give everybody a look at what's coming up later this weekend around the NFL. Some great games coming up on Sunday, highlighted by a 1 o'clock matchup in Miami. A good test for the Dolphins as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Good games in the late afternoon as well. One being out in Santa Clara, where it'll be the 49ers taking on the Green Bay Packers. And lastly, Monday Night Football has a good one lined up between the Cleveland Browns and the Seattle Seahawks. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. A touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven the score as we begin half number two. They'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally, the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. They'll come up here first and 10. Slot man in motion left. Now they'll set up to throw. That's three. Third time tonight he's been intercepted. Picked off by Cedric Gray. All right, Mike, you know me. I tend to be an offensive guy, so if we're taking a big shot to start this half, I'm thinking touchdown. Or rather, we go interception to begin the second half. Now, still an exciting play. I think we're going to see both sides willing to continue to take these risks, take these chances throughout the rest of this second half. The Titans offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. They'll start in outstanding field position, looking for a way to break our top. He'll look to throw. be better on first down they've got to find a way to continue to operate ahead of the sticks and I don't mind throwing it on first down that is the best down in football to attempt to pass but if they don't protect the passer none of it's going to matter work to do now as they come up on second and long throwing now from the gun and that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag comes in. That might make this a first down. Look to throw. He 
who's going to keep it himself. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Mike, I have to be honest. When offenses come up with run play designs, blocking the corner is not really a big priority. But in this case, great job not only forcing it on the outside, but defeating the block, coming up and making the tackle, and keeping it to no gain. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down. That one, take it in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Greg, I love the precision on that play. Very little time, very confined space, and they come through with the touchdown. And it's the accuracy of the throw, Mike, that protects his receiver. Everything down here near the goal line is so condensed, you understand you're going to be thrown into tight windows, but when you trust your quarterback to protect you with the ball placement, it gives you a lot more confidence going across the middle of the field, and in this case, pays off for a touchdown. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten they'll throw out of the gun little short pass here caught by his tight end it's not the big play they were hoping for but first down efficiency staying ahead of the chains is what every offense is trying to find and it brings up a manageable second down out of the gun he'll throw Quick throw, taken in, and they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Quick throw here is complete. That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one good for 13 yards. They'll send their tight end left. Back to the air one more time. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game. But I like in this case, the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screenplay still in the back of their head. He's going to fight forward. Didn't get a whole lot, but it's going to be enough to move the chains. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. A shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. Open man there. That's complete. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. This one complete right side. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. It is a gain of 23 yards. And now they'll have four shots at it. It's first and goal. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Things happen quick, 
Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. The extra point by Elliott is good. And the Patriots will tie things up. We are all even at 14. We are all square. 14 apiece. The score as this one's away. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Right away, they'll set up to throw. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Quickly to the outside and complete. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. it away quickly and it's caught and good yardage there after the catch they'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down here's a second and three fourth coming so both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter we'll have more thursday night football after this to throw yet again. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. That one incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up the key third down? play action he'll set up to throw and this ball incomplete on third down so of course you prefer to connect on that throw but think about it like this mike the more they continue to test this defense downfield the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath and this one right down the middle it's good and they take the lead here in the fourth quarter and this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. And a decent return there. they are getting this up just shy of the 30. The Patriots offense make their way out to take over once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. This drive kicks off with first and ten. And they will finally catch up to him and get him down. It's a big play when they needed it the most. 38 yards. Big time play there as they try to cut into this fourth quarter deficit. 
At this point in the game, Mike, remember, you're just going to get a couple more possessions, so you have to make the most of them, especially with the lead being this close for the taking. There's no need to rush, but you have to execute your offense and make sure you end this drive with points. Throwing now on first and ten. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time, and it'll set up second down. They'll stick to the ground. That was some good downhill running. To get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And this is where it pays to have a kicker you can trust, Mike. I mean, this is as big a spot as there is. Fourth quarter, what does he do? He comes out and he delivers to tie up this game. Here comes a return from the three. And he'll get this up past the 20. That's where they'll set up shop. When you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. There's that man again. Another catch. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. His eighth reception of the game. And good for a first down. They'll run here. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Blitz coming, he'll throw it. He keeps it himself. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Taking advantage of the room to run, a gain of 19 on the scramble. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. He'll drive a zone read on first and ten. And he'll get about three on that one. It'll be second down. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here is the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. room out on the edge. You're not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think he tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. Sometimes you run all those big bodies out there, you kind of tip your hand. I always love going big jumbo personnel for a play action. In this case, they keep the ball on the ground. The defense knew it was coming, and they suffer a loss. So now, out comes the field goal unit in this pressure spot. This to grab a late lead. But this one has plenty of leg, and it is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. The return starts from the five. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Patriots offense getting set to get back to work. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Back to throw here to begin the drop. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. 
Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. It is second down and five. They'll drop to throw. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. Early in this drive, they're trying to establish some offensive rhythm, but now after that second down sack, really puts them in a must pass. You don't want to be in third and long very often in the NFL. It's not a very high percentage conversion rate, and with the danger of a three and out, they better hold up here in pass protection. Going to need a big play now, third down and long. They put a receiver in motion to the left. Now, faking the give. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation. And right now, this quarterback needs to make his best throw in the biggest moment. He works free. Great side. And he will take this one in. 75 yards. Touchdown, New England. A beautiful combination in the air there to pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Elliott, good on the extra point. And the Pats have taken a four-point advantage. So now, playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown, time to kick it back the other way. This will be returned from the six. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. What's the old saying, Mike? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And at this point, there's just really no reason to not just continue to target him. He's been running free all game long, and you can see the numbers. They bear that out. It's evident right from the start that they were going to look his way early and often, and I think it turned out to be a pretty good game plan. Well, it's another catch for his favorite target. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Back to throw. Now the screen going to be set up for Davis. But he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Going downfield, right side, and it's caught. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. Here we go, first and goal. Davis. And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across, setting up second and goal. Here now, second down and goal. He'll look to throw. He pulls it in around the five. And he'll go down back at the four. For the lead, here is third and goal. There, he can't get a throw away, and he's taken down. Now or never, they'll throw him, and that could be the dagger. It's intercepted, and the Patriots will take over at their own 14-yard line. All right, Mike, file this play away. If they're able to hold on and pull this game out, we're going to look back on this as the pivotal moment of this game. Oftentimes, it takes that one big moment to sway the outcome of a game, and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone. This drive will start on the ground, and he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired. 
in this fourth quarter. So it's a win for the Patriots. It'll be a long but happy flight home as they earn the victory here in London. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. Good night, everybody.